Hello students, uh, in this lecture we are going to uh, learn the combination of errors. First one is error in summation. Uh, suppose x is equal to a plus b. So when we have to measure, we have to get the value of x, we have to measure a and b individually. So when we are measuring a and b individually, we are going to get some errors, right? So if del a and del b are the absolute errors in the measurement of a and b respectively, so del x is the absolute error in the measurement of x. So the true value of x is, should be equal to a plus b. So x plus minus del x is equal to a plus minus del a in bracket plus b plus minus del b. So we can simplify here. Uh, x plus minus del x is equal to a plus b and plus minus del a plus minus del b. So a plus b is equal to x. So we can uh, cancel out a plus b and x, right? So what comes, uh, it, it is simplified as del x is equal to plus minus del a plus minus del b. So the measurement of del x is equal to plus minus del a plus minus del b. So the maximum value of this absolute error in the measurement of x is equal to plus minus del a plus del b in bracket, right? So the maximum value of del x is equal to del a plus del b and the minimum value of del x is equal to minus del a minus del b. So here, um, next one is error in difference. Suppose x is equal to a minus b and uh, x plus minus del x is equal to a plus minus del a minus in bracket b plus minus del b. So we can cancel out uh, x and a minus b here like the previous one. So the value of del x comes like that. Uh, del x is equal to plus minus del a minus plus del b. Here also the maximum value of del x is equal to plus minus del a plus del b. So we are going to uh, solve an example. Uh, the two resistances are expressed in terms of R1 is equal to 4 plus minus 0.5 ohm and R2 is equal to 12 pi plus minus 0.5 ohm. What is the net resistance when they are connected in series? Find the error in therein. So when the, the data is given like that, 4 plus minus uh, something, so we have to get, we have to know that plus minus 0.5 ohm is the error here, right? So we all know that when the two resistances are connected in series, the total or equivalent resistance comes like that, uh, RS is equal to R1 plus R2. So first we have to take uh, sum the main quantity. Now, what is the main value of R1? It is four. What is the R main value of R2? It is 12, right? So the first we have to just, uh, take the summation of these two, RS is equal to 12 plus uh, four or four plus 12 is equal to 16 ohm, right? And the value of del R1 is here 0.5 ohm, and also del R2 is 0.5 ohm here, right? So we know that in summation or in uh, subtraction also the value of del R is, is comes like plus minus del R plus del R2. So plus minus del R1 is equal to 0.5 ohm plus uh, and del R2 is equal to 0.5 ohm. So it is it it is one ohm. So the total uh, or equivalent resistance, we have the value of the total or the equivalent resistance comes like 16 plus minus 1 ohm. The answer should be 16 plus minus 1 ohm. So we have studied the error in uh, addition and subtraction. Next, we move to the error in multiplication. Suppose uh, x is equal to a, in, a into b. So like the previous one, del A and del B are uh, absolute errors in measurement of A and B respectively. Del X is the absolute error in the measurement of X. So the equation, from the equation one, we got it, uh, X plus minus del X is equal to A plus minus del A into B plus minus del B. So we take uh, X common in the left hand side, right? Uh, so it comes like one plus minus del X by X. So we take A from the first, uh, first quantity, first uh, part, a common here, and in from the second part, we could take B common here. Well, it comes like uh, A into 1 plus minus del A by A, B into A 1 plus minus del B by B. So we know that AB is equal to X here, so we can cancel out AB and X in the both left hand and right hand side, right? So what comes like that, after the simplification, 1 plus minus del X by X is equal to 1 plus minus del A by A, del B by B, plus minus del A, 
del D divided by AB. So del X is equal to plus minus del A by A plus minus del B by B plus minus del A del B divided by AB. So from this uh, from this part, we know that del A is a very small quantity, and del A by a is even smaller, right? A similar del B by B is even smaller quantity. So when two smaller quantity are uh, multiplied, they they get more smaller. So suppose we are multiplying 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, we are getting 0 0.02, not 0 0.2, right? So it 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 becomes more smaller. Right? So we can neglect out this part. We can neglect out the del A into del B divided by AB part, right? So neglecting this part, what we got here, del X by X is equal to plus minus del A by a plus minus del b by b so so from the previous lecture we all know that del x by x is nothing but the relative error in the measurement of x so relative error in the measurement of x is equal to relative error in the measurement of a plus relative error in the measurement of b now similarly error in division uh, it uh, let's suppose x is equal to a minus b we can simply uh, we can simplify it and we can prove it del x by x is equal to plus minus del a by a plus del b by b. So the uh, error in uh, measurement of uh, multiplication and division are same. Uh, like the previous one, the addition and subtraction part error was same. In uh, Similarly, in multi multiplication and division part, the error is same. Next one, error in terms of having power. In terms having power. Suppose x is equal to a, a to the power 2 or a square we can call so in a square we can write a into a right so a into a is uh, it comes in multiplication right so we know that in multiplication del x by x becomes del a by a plus del a by a so it is 2 into del a by a so you, you see that the power is was 2 that comes as a coefficient here in error right so suppose x is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n so we can write a to the power m into b to the power minus n. So del x by del, del x by x is equal to the m. M is the coefficient of the a. M comes as coefficient m into del a by a, and uh, n comes as the coefficient here n into del b by b. So uh, every everywhere there will be plus minus. It don't have to worry about it, right? Okay, now we are going to solve a problem. Uh, it's a problem from NCRT textbook. You can pause the video and see the question, check the question there. Okay. So the percentage error given for an expression, the expression is P is equal to A cube B square divided by root C into D. Okay. Uh, and percentage error is given, and you have to find the percentage error in the measurement of P. Right. And the expression of P is given as like that. So what is percentage error? When we multiply relative error by 100, we get the percentage error. So given that you know, the percentage error for A is 1%, so that means del A by A into 100% is 1%. Like that, del B by B into 100 is equal to 3, del C by C into 100 is equal to 4, del D by D into 100 is equal to 2. It is given like that. So for that, uh, you see here, uh, the p is equal to a cube b square. It is uh, it is in multiplication divided by uh, c to the power half. We can write c to the power half because it is root c into d, right? So whether it is uh, multiplication or division, the formula for error is same. We have uh, already got it, right? So del the expression for del p by p, uh, it is in uh, relative uh, error term, right? Uh, the power of a is three actually. So the 3 counts as a coefficient here, right? 3 into del A by A, uh, 2 is the power of B, 2 into del A by B, and half is the power of C, half into del C by C, 1 is the power of D, 1 into del A by D, right? So we are directly writing here the percentage error. Since del A by A into 100% is equal to uh, 1%, and so everywhere there is multiplied by 100, so we are omitting the 100, we are not showing here. So the total error is 3 into 3, 3 into 1, 2 into 3, half into 4, plus 2. So the total error for the measurement of P is, comes like 13%. It's very easy. So thanks. Keep following the channel.